Today, we're going to look at VOD selection and some risks. I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching. Okay, so you chose a VOD over a traditional wind turbine. How do you know which VOD is right for you? And how do you guard against known issues? Considerations. For the same relative size, Darius are typically faster, while Savonius have greater torque. With either one, expect at some point you will encounter dangerously high winds. You always have to be careful not to overcharge your batteries also. Okay, let's look at more details. Now Darius can be hard to start, but once spinning you can use off-the-shelf generators requiring high rotational speed as Darius spins faster. Savonius typically turns slower, but can produce high torque. This may necessitate a DIY generator. Are you ready to build your own? I've got a few videos on building your own generator. Next, check average local wind speeds for your area to determine which VOD is best for your needs. You must also understand fetch. It is the distance wind travels over land or water uninterrupted. Good fetch can produce dangerously high winds. Some are sustained, some are like rogue waves. Both destroy VOD. Also, if you can't collect any more power when the wind won't stop, you risk overcharging batteries. Dump loads don't make sense to me. Both issues can be accounted for with a lift cage and frame. Drop the VOT to avoid dangerous winds or overcharging batteries. In conclusion, check your local specs for wind speed averages. Check your site for available fetch. DIY or off-the-shelf generator. With these things in mind, you can decide which VOT is best for you. Remember to account for known issues. Okay, talk to you soon.